Hey, this is Kalyan. So in this video, we'll see how to set up MySQL in our Windows. So go to website and write MySQL community download and uh, scroll down and go to this link mysql.com slash downloads. Here click on MySQL installer for Windows. And then on the latest version, you will get here and you will have to click on this second one and click on this download button. Once you will click on download, then click on no thanks, just to start my download. It will start downloading the software as I have already downloaded it. So I'm going to install. So you download and then follow the steps. So click on this. Now it will ask to how we are going to set up. So we'll have to do custom, then click on next. Just open all of these and uh, click on this like mysql server we are going to install so select that and click on this arrow icon to select then inside the applications we are going to install all of this mysql workbench cell and router everything so click on this and click on first icon it will select all the applications which we want to install and this router one also we are going to install so we have selected all of these four. now click on next let it by default don't change anything click on next yes and click on execute it will start installing all of these softwares which we have selected here so all of these have been completed now we'll have to click next then next like you can check the port number 3306 click on next then uh, let it be by default click on next and now it is asking for mysql root password so uh give the password according to you like in my case i'm giving r double o t at the rate one two three and repeat password r double o t at the rate one two three okay password strength is medium nothing now we'll have to click next let it be by default click on next then next then execute so it will apply all the configurations after clicking on execute and uh, yes it has been successfully installed now click on finish now click on next and then finish So it will by default open this mysql cell and it will also it may also open the workbench so this is our workbench in which here you will give the password which you have just entered like in my case i entered the root at the rate one two three now first thing we will have to is we will have to set up our path inside the environment variable click on c drive go to program files then mysql then mysql server then go to bin and copy this path now click on windows now click on environment variables click on edit environment variables then this option environment variable then inside the system variable check for path and now on the path double click and click on new now and right click and paste the path you have just copied this bin one and click on ok ok then ok so now we are going to check our mysql version like mysql version so it will show you the version so this indicates that you have successfully installed the mysql in your windows like after adding the bin path to the environment variables you can follow this command so now let's check by creating things like click on this it will ask you to enter the password click on the password field and write root at the one two three or whatever password you have given when you will click on that when you will give the password like this is a workbench in which you can execute the, all the things all the commands all the queries and everything so here you can so you can also write so data bases and when you will execute this one like this first command 
so it will show you that yes these kinds of databases are there information schema mysql performance schema and anything and you can also create a database like uh create create database like i'm giving her name kalyan and select and execute this one so you can see the kalyan database has been created when you will do the show database it will show you the kalyan name okay so if you want to create files or create tables inside this database you will have to do use kalyan so now execute this one so you are using this one when you will create table so this table will be get created into this database okay so this is all about the video how we can install the mysql in our windows system so whatever things you are uh, if you want to execute you can do that in the mysql workbench and uh, uh, using command line also you can uh, do things so this was all about the video uh, if you like then hit the subscribe button and do must share the videos with other people thank you